The TARDIS arrives on board a spaceship in orbit around a planet called the Sensor Sphere. Aliens called the Sensorites have trapped the sh spaceship's crew in a state of paralysis. The Doctor now must find a cure that, for a sickness that has been wiping the Sensorites out. But it could also take the life of one of his companions too. This is Love Monkey Nine Five Three coming through the ashes to your computer screens, and today I'll be reviewing the Sensorites. It's written by Peter R. Newman and directed by Mervyn Pinfield and Frank Cox. We see less of Barbara in this episode as she wasn't allowed down to the Sensor Sphere. Maybe the Sensorites don't like history teachers, we don't know. But she had a lot of screen time in the Aztecs. Susan takes a bit of the center stage as she gets telepathically contacted by the Sensorites and acts as a go between for the Doctor and the aliens. Ian gets ill by drinking poisoned water and then the Doctor is given an incentive to find the culprit and more importantly a cure. Really the Sensorites aren't all that bad. They're the ones who are being poisoned, or they are guilty of, as accusing them of people. Mentions again to the Doctor's and Susan's home planet, and Susan wows her grandfather with her progress as a young Gallifreyan. It is discovered that survivors from the previous Earth mission have gone insane and started poisoning the Sensorites. The leader of the Sensorites allows them all to go back to Earth, and gets them treated for madness. Overall, a good story, apart from the padding. There's an excessive amount of padding. It could have been shortened to four episodes. Another good appearance from Stephen Darnell, who plays John, but he also played Yartek in The Keys of Marinus. Uh, I give this one a 7 out of 10. Thank you very, all, very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.